Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the very next installment of The Crafty Dare. It is week five and this is an Instagram challenge that is hosted by Ninju who is in Does Crafts over on Instagram. So week five, Ninju asked Marla uh, Yates, who is in our group, if she wanted to pick what the Crafty Dare is this week. So Marla picked a shiny, a heart, and we're gonna use the word friend. Awesome uh, things to pick out, Marla. I'm definitely gonna link Marla's channel in the description box below. And if this is something you would like to play along with each week, Ninju posts on Instagram at Endas Crafts. You'll find her link below as well. Um, she'll post the Crafty Dare for the week, the new challenge on Sunday. And then we come back and post our um, projects on Friday. So um, I picked up, um, these tags from Paper Studio. I've actually had these for a while and I kind of looked at them and kind of popped in my head exactly what I wanted to do this week. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, let me actually, I was going to go ahead and shine up my uh, little confetti bits up here, but um, so I pulled out this stamp that says, I'm so lucky that you're my friend. I also had nothing's better than a good friend with chocolate. And I had another tiny stamp somewhere. Here it is. That said friend. Um, so these are a few things I used. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and ink up this stamp. I'm so lucky that you're my friend. With some archival Ranger black ink. I'm going to ink that up pretty good. And then I'm going to position this on my tag. And I'm going to kind of come over to this lower corner a little bit. And I'm going to kind of hold this on here pretty well without pressing too hard so I get a good impression. All right. Whoopsies. All right. There you are. I got a little bit of a smudge, but that's okay. Um, so we've got our sentiment on there. And then I've got this older punch, which is kind of like a little bit of a primitive heart. And I've got this glitter paper from Recollections. It's a nice... It's a great pink. It's nice and shiny. It's got some other colors in there. Kind of green stands out and that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and glue my heart down. And I've got some uh, glue sticker right here. So I'm going to hit the back of this heart. I'm pretty good with some glue stick. All right. And then I'm going to take that heart and I'm going to put it right here above my sentiment. Okay, awesome. And then I'm going to go ahead. So we've got the word friend already. We've got our heart. And then for our shine, I'm going to use this um, stickles. I don't know if it has a name. I don't know if it's like the diamond or the stardust or something like that. It's clear and it's shiny. And I am just going to go ahead and hit all of our little pink bits with some of this glittery glue. Stickles always adds a nice special touch. And I love all these little, I don't know what you call them. It's almost like sprinkles, I guess. Sprinkles? And they're pink, which I think is so adorable. And I'm going to hit just all of these fun little bits and just shine them up. Almost to the end. Oh, a few more here in the middle. <laughs> I thought I was done prematurely. All right. So... All of our elements are right here on my tag. So at this point, we have met the challenge requirements. But I think I would like to go ahead and turn this in, uh, or add this to a card, make it the embellishment on my card. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside to dry, because if I don't, I'm going to smear that glue. So I'm going to pull out, um, I've got a card here. Um, it's an A2 size, so I had an 8.5 piece of 11 by cardstock that I cut right in the middle at five and a half inches. Then I folded it in half. This gives me an A2 size card, which is five and a half inches by four and a quarter. And then I've cut down this little pink piece of scrap paper that I found in my stash. So I'm gonna grab my vintage photo ink. And here's my little inking tool, this little, um, um, 
art sponge just stuck on a handle. I get asked a lot of questions about it, but you guys are probably used to me talking about it all the time. So I'm adding some of that vintage photo on our cardstock and our scrap piece. And yes, this is old and it's flaking off. I probably will be changing this up at some point, but it's my favorite tool. So I just deal with the, the little bits that flake off. <laughs> All right, so we have inked up our card. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this piece of scrap down. And let's see, I misplaced my glue somehow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my glue stick. We will use that. I can lose things literally right in front of my face. I don't understand how that happens. You guys do that too? <laughs> All right, so let's get the glue stick on to our scrap piece and get our card put together. I really love simple projects, so this is a store-bought tag, and we're just jazzing it up and making a card out of it. I love that kind of crafting, just kind of simple. Jazz it up, and you're good to go. So this little piece here is four and a quarter inches wide, and then um, three inches in height is what worked best when I measured to add my little coffee bits on top. All right, and then I'm going to grab out my black ink again, and I'm going to use my little speckle stamp. It's from the Itty Bitty, Itty Bitty Background stamp set from Stampin' Up! way back in the day. It says it was from 1997 originally. You can still find these sets on eBay. I get asked a lot about this in my um, little inking tool, so try to mention that. All right, so we have added speckles to our background, and then I have already got some pre-made little coffee tags, and then I have also added a bow, and these are um, from Hobby Lobby, the La Petites, and these are in this pink color, and I've used up most of them. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and since I don't know where I put my glue, good grief. I guess we're back to using the glue stick, huh? That'll do. All right, so I'm going to give this a good coating. Definitely get your edges. I do never like it when my edges stick up. I want them to be down. All right, so here's our card base. And I'm going to just add this a little bit off center. Oh, so cute, so cute. And of course, this one here I did up earlier, so all of our little glue dried. And then let's see, I've got these little pink jemmies right here. And some scissors. I'm going to cut three three little jemmies right here. I'm going to pull these off. These should be attached. Yeah, they kind of all come off together. I think I'm going to go ahead and add these right down here. Cute! So this is a really, really simple card. So there's our little embellishment. I'm lucky that you're my friend. We've got our shiny bits. We've got our heart. We have used the word friend. I made up another card earlier, kind of going more with those greeny blue tones. And then I've got some, um, let's see, this one here. This one I used the uh, different stamp, Nothing's Better Than a Good Friend with Chocolate. Still added those pink little jemmies down there. And then here's a second one of this. I just made a third one. Um, also did another one, so these can be tags or added to a card. And then I used this one here too, which is a larger heart. And then I had that tiny little word friend, which I think that's cute too, but I think I prefer um, these other ones as well. So all right though, that's the Crafty Dare for this week. Ninja will be posting the next dare on Sunday. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.